Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the C Event Semifinals and the E Event Finals of the 2024 Cherry Blossom Curling Bond Spiel here in Potomac, Maryland, right outside of Washington, D.C. On our feature sheet, we have two Potomac teams, um, Slinger Danger versus should we have Johnson in our name? There are actually three Johnsons on that team. Um, and then on our sheet C, which will be the other sheet that we'll be following closely, will be Broomstones 1, Glazer, versus Kumakumi Inatora. And then those are the two C event semifinals. And then on sheet A, that's the Nashua team, right? So we have the Nashua team, NCC versus Chud Muffins. This is our one of our E-event finals. And then on sheet D, we have Swiss Margarita versus Body by Broomstacking. So it looks like everybody is getting uh, ready. We are here with uh, Jen. Hello, everybody. And I'm Sarah. So we do not and we have uh, Dylan on controls. So I think Dylan has been here all weekend, so. <laughs> no, I just did uh, yesterday afternoon last oh, okay, night. Okay, yesterday afternoon. Well, you've been here a lot. Well, so. you were all by yourself last night, so that was a, <laughs> was a heroic, heroic commentary and manipulation of the controls all at once. Yeah. Got a couple first rocks going out here. So it looks like we're getting ready to get started on our feature sheet. Schlanger Danger is the Red Rocks and Naomi is uh, lead and we will see how the ice is uh, looking with this first rock. I always call the first rock the test rock because you got to see if the ice is uh, going to be slow or fast. Or looks pretty good. Even got a oh my gosh, line. a center line guard. Perfect. So, well, it looks like we have three viewers right now. Welcome, everyone. If you're able to chat with us, go ahead and put in the chat where you're from and who you're rooting for, and we will do our best to keep you up to date on the sheets that you're most interested in. Here comes Stephanie's first rock for uh, Team Johnson. Mindy, good morning, Mindy. That's going to be a nice little corner guard there, just outside the rings. Not gonna quite get around. Yeah. <coughs> Splits the guards in the front there. Johnson there is calling for a draw behind. Got plenty of decent cover out front now. Mm -hmm. Let the draws begin. <laughs> kind of figure out early on whether it's gonna be a draw game or a hit game. Stephanie threw that with a like a little push there, so that's got good weight on it. Looks like it's uh, going off center there. It's curling a lot, and um, that was not what they were hoping for. So they just they just promoted Slanger Dangers 
guard there right into the house. So Dave is going to ask for that guard to be put back to protect that rock in the forefoot. Oh, we're up to seven. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Courtney's playing second here on Slanger Danger. Brian and Naomi are just walking with it, escorting it down. Yeah, it looks a little hot for a guard. Yeah. It's gonna end up almost freezing to there. Shots are right there in the eight foot. All right. Ken Clark is gonna be throwing a hit there. Cody and Stephanie are furiously sweeping, trying to hold that line. That didn't quite get both out. Yeah, so one of the red rocks was removed and the other rock readjusted in the house, we'll say. <laughs> Dave is calling for a hit and roll there on the yellow. If they get a nice roll, they can split the house there. Have one on each side, that's a good ploy. get the roll they were expecting. There's a nice little takeout there on sheet C. Kuma Kuma um, nose hit the uh, red rock in the house there and they replaced. Nice shot by Ken Clark there. I believe this has just turned into a hit game. <laughs> that is very true, Sarah. It's like we're just going to be replacing rocks until somebody misses. <laughs> or until somebody makes the roll, which is the goal. Yes. The hit part is, is usually the easier part of that uh, combination shot. Getting the angle right for the roll is always the big challenge. Ryan is vice. Well, they got the roll, but the roll went out of the house. Like uh, we're calling for the hit of the remaining red rock in the house. Cody makes that. Making the hits, but they've all been nose hits, so they've been sticking where they are. Dave's calling for a normal hit weight here. Oh. Courtney and Naomi are confirming that that's normal weight. a roll there, but not under cover. That's a really long way to roll. Um, yeah. And the hit game continues. 
Uh -huh. Let's see, it looks like we've got yellow sitting shot right now. First skip zone. Oh, they've got, they're sitting two in the house. Oh. Well, that was the role they wanted the first time. <laughs> Cody made contact with that rock, but it just uh, didn't hit as hard as he needed, and it rolled behind the uh, red guard there in the free guard zone. Well, no longer free guards anyway. <laughs> True. The guard zone. Where Brian is standing, I think that might be just a draw in. Discussion yeah. of the draw weight and during a throw. It's so it's tough as Skip to throw the first rock, not having any experience with the ice. Mm -hmm. Sounds like the sweepers think that that's a, a three guard. They're sweeping furiously, hoping to pull it a little bit farther. Making it. Yep. She looks pretty good. Yep. Nice draw. Especially for your first rock. It's like they're contemplating a potential double there. all the way. Yeah, a lot of discussion here for the next shot. It looks like it's just going to be another draw in. Looks like we have Hammer here on the sheet C. Still some discussion going on. Looks like they're going to try to draw. Yeah. I'll count that shot still. Just hung the score, one yellow. Yeah, 
now we have uh, the hammer here on sheet B, our feature sheet. It's really starting to curl. Gonna come in far enough to score. So it'll be too red. Steal of two for Slinger. Mm. Looks like there's a lot of rocks in the house there on sheet uh, D. They're trying to figure out. Uh, The score is. One, two. Well, they're moving rocks, so it looks like a decision might have been made. And we also have a score of one yellow on A. Sheet C, we have a nice centerline guard and draw behind. So nobody's hung the score on sheet D, so we'll just have to wait and see how that mess turned out. There were a lot of rocks in play. This shot by the yellow team came in a little heavy. Looks like Dave's supposed for that draw. Sheet C, it looks like they're... Fear sweeping here on sheet C. They're pulling that around. Nice shot. For who? Well, body by broom stacking. Scored one on sheet D. So from the start of the draw, they have 110 minutes. Um, Topper, our coordinator, told everybody. Um, that is due to the fact that the final start at noon and the ice time will need, the ice team will need to have time to uh, refresh the ice before that happens. So 110 minutes total for everybody. So. Got two rocks in the house over here on our feature sheet. 
Ken Clark is uh, throwing for Team Johnson. Kind of a downweight hit on that mm -hmm. shot rock. Tony and Stephanie are sweeping to hold that line and it's coming pretty good. Yeah. Nice little roll behind the guard. It's Dylan just informed us that um, on sheet D, they swapped rock collars. So that's actually, who is Swiss Margarita um, is yellow. So they are ahead by one. So we had those colors reversed initially. Oh, oh I thought they were getting behind that guard. That was really close. Oh, wow. That's what they call threading the needle. That's right. <laughs> I'm not very good at that yet. I can only do it when I don't mean to. <laughs> I guess that's probably true for me as well. It's like they call a hit and it's like, oh, I'm just going to go right in between those two really close rocks. And you figure you'll hit something, right? All right. Nice little tap there. Sure, that's really what they meant. Yeah, looks like uh, Dave was able to sweep it so that his red rock is second right now. Yeah, so. pretty wide open on that shot rock. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Dave's calling for control. Got another rock coming here on sheet C. Furious sweeping. Oh, roll right onto the button. Oh no, we're going to crash on that guard again. The guard is doing its job just for the wrong team. <laughs> Johnson is asking them to tap that red rock a little the closer to the floor. The yellow one. Of the yellow, correct. Oh, nice try at a takeout on sheet C. Just missed it. Oh my right God. on the button. Right on the button. But it is exposed. It is exposed. <laughs> so. Dave is going for the one in the eight foot there. Calling for a line before Brian let go of that rock. Oh, very nearly put that shot rock. Still a lot of red in there. Yeah, that shot rock exposed. on top of the reds. Yep. Yeah. It's kind of 
gun sheet. See, they threw a really excellent guard for their shot rock. Oh, yeah. So taking that out is no longer an option. Or at least not an easy one. Ken and Stephanie are furiously sweeping here. It's uh, curling, still curling. Steve's jumping in there to help. Okay. A little shorter than they meant. Yeah, not quite far enough over to guard, so. Dave is uh, going out to Shot Rock. Kumakuma's Yellow Rock coming into view here on sheet C. Yeah, they went for a draw that also came up short. Nice hit, and they even managed to miss all the red rocks in the back of the house there, and so snap, yeah. that was impressive. Steve basically has to do the same thing. Yeah. And stick around to score. Red Rock from the Brimstones coming into view here on uh, Sheet C. Looks like they're just guarding up to protect their Red Rock. It's on the button. Yeah, trying to oh! Oh! No. Just bounced results. off that guard. They were so close to getting around that. Really great attempt. We're up to 19 viewers. Welcome, everybody. If you're able to chat with us, let us know who you're cheering for. And we will try to make sure that we're keeping you updated on the outer sheets as well as the feature sheet here, B, and our other sheet, C, that we're keeping a close eye on. off center though so I think they can have to be a pretty precise shot but Here comes hammer on C. I think they're just trying to draw a touch red. Yeah they need to be a little red there. It's a little light to me. Yeah. But it's still coming. 
No, they're gonna be on the... Well, I got four sweepers going on here. Sometimes I think that's a little excessive. <laughs> Not sure how much of a difference it really makes at that point. Okay, so that was uh, one red for Broomstones on sheet C. We've got a tie game going into the third end. Great job, everybody. the best you can hope for is to I'm sure I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. Alrighty, starting off the third end with Naomi's first drop. of it. He's the stealth, stealth scoring master over here. It's like, is that hammer on sheet D? It's like it. Yeah. Let's see what's happening here. It looks like they're trying to draw, but that looks a little hot. Such a great line, though. Yeah, so that's either that's either two or three. Hard to tell from here. Alrighty, so that's uh, three. And which team is that? So Swiss Margarita is up four to zero on sheet D. The tie game on sheet C. Schleiner Danger has three up against Johnson. And the Chud Muffins are ahead three against Nuxua. shot. Asking Courtney to hit that shot rock out of the house. No guards in play this time, so it's going to be much, much more hits. Put 
the house out? Ken's gonna try to freeze out of that. Red rock. Normal weight takeout. Yep. Oh, nice shot. Wasn't sure if they'd be able to keep their uh, red rock behind that yellow rock around, but it sounded like they didn't care if they did much. Yeah, but not a bad. Bonus. But that turned out good for them. Trying again for that freeze. Looks like it's kind of hanging out there. Yeah, it might come in. It's starting to curl now. It's slowing down nicely. Very nice shots. But since it tapped the other one back, it's not really. Uh, yeah, there's, there's no backing behind yeah. it, so Dave's calling for a direct hit on it. We're up to 20 viewers. Welcome, everybody. Good morning. From uh, Laurel, Maryland. Let us know where you're tuning in from and uh, which teams you're rooting for if you're able. Excellent shot. Spilled them right around there on the there. Rinse and repeat. They're going to try to <laughs> sit on the red rock again. Um, it's Cody Johnson's uh, turn to give that shot a, a try. Freezes are really hard. You have to have the weight exactly uh, right. The line is uh, oh, a little too fast. Yeah. Are we sitting too no or no? Are we two or no? Brian was asking from the uh Yeah, we just kinda wanna be on this side of the, yeah. Yeah. This is often what happens when you have multiple skips playing on the same team. <laughs> There's a lot of discussion about what the uh right call will be. So Courtney and Brian are experienced skips and uh we were sending some uh advice down to to Dave. Following this rock down. Nice. All right, Cody gets a, another call for a freeze. Yeah. 
John. John is tuning in from Laurel, Maryland and rooting for some good curling. Definitely agree. If I remember correctly, John was doing some commentating for us, so thanks for tuning in, John. All righty, so uh, the Johnsons are sitting shot rock right now. I keep going for him too. First of days, skip rocks. Throw that dead weight. He's trying to hold the line there so that it doesn't bounce off uh, their reds. Beautiful shot. They're stacking up the reds in that house. Yeah. Johnson's uh, first skip rock. Several of those reds, but I think red is still shot. I can take it. Hard to tell. Yeah, it is hard to tell. Well, regardless, it looks like uh, the call is to try to remove that yellow rock. That's gonna that's gonna flash on by. One red for Broomstones and she's C. Very tight game. just confirmed that the yellow rock that Stephanie is standing over is second shot. So it looks like they might be trying to bump that rock that's shot.
it's really curly. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Good effort, but just could not get that red rock to move. Got some high guards here on sheet C to start off uh, their fourth end there. Gary is sweeping over here on sheet C. It looks like it might be slowing down a little more than they uh, It looks like it really hit. And, um, that was some really good sweeping <laughs> to get that over the hog line. That rock is in play. Well done, sweepers. Well done. Okay, so Naomi's first rock is uh, another guard. It's going to be just slightly off the center line there. Steve's going to ask for a, a corner guard. <laughs> now they're in the position of having to draw around all those really high guards. Yeah. This rock on sheet uh, B. Achieves okay. a corner guard. <laughs> it's two one way to do actually. it. <laughs> now there's two corner guards. So that was not on the center line, so they were allowed to bump it. As long as the rock does not go out, it is a... Uh, it's a rock and play. Did not get around that guard on C. But it did uh, open up a little up hole a little there, there, so yeah. for their opponents. So Broomstone is going to try to go in between those two guards and sit in the house. Danger's Rock is just touching the 12 foot there. Looks like they're gonna try to do a little hit and roll behind their yellow. <laughs> and the red team did take advantage of that one. Broomstones managed to get through those uh, that portal and sit in the house. So now there are five rocks in play, so you are allowed to start hitting those guards out. It looks like that is what Kuma Kuma is uh, planning to do. Opening up that center line there. Got a flash by on B there. Theory is sweeping over here on A. Got that over the hog line. Nice guard. Another good draw by Stones. Not quite under cover, but. It's like everybody's trying to use that line now. Yeah. <laughs> they found a line that works and they're uh, going Another for it. Another good draw by uh, Schlanger team as well. Right behind the guard. Trying to 
Five Sheet C, Kuma Kuma drew in the same path and Ooh, another um, flash by a little, little far. So it looks like Brimstone is going to try to um, put a rock along that line and close up that draw path. That was a second miss on that upper red for Johnson's team. It's unfortunate. We're here on sheet C, we've got three sweepers again. going to wear out their arms there. They're going to have to start throwing a little heavier. <laughs> a lot of sweeping going on there on Team Brunstones. I'm going to try a third time for this. Third time's the charm. They got this. this is top stone. Ken Clark is uh, through his rock. Looks like it's a little narrow. Hold it, hold it, hold it. He's got it. All right. Over here on C, they're uh, moving around some guards. Team Broomstones is uh, calling for another guard to uh, plug up the draw path there. was a really nice draw over here on shoot A. Oh, no. Three sweepers again here on Broomstones. It's over, it's gonna be a good guard, but it's a lot of sweeping going on. That was supposed to be a guard, came in a little deep, but. Team Johnson here is hoping for uh, move that granite around and blow some things up. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Nice shot. Oh. They managed to uh, needle thread there. <laughs> yeah, between those two guards, one of their guards and one of the Broomstone's guards. That was a Really nice shot. Well done. Looks like Broomstone is gonna try to do the same thing. Try to thread that needle as well. Alright. We got our feature sheet, sheet B. We've got um, Slinger Dangers, Rock coming down. That is definitely going to be a guard this time. Yeah. Whether it's yeah. 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 It's pretty good. Nice guard. Really nice, right? Yeah. Confirmation by the team there. One out of the house.
Well, Team Johnson has uh, managed to get all the rocks except one out, so I think Dave is just going to be drawing in. That's a tough position when you really need rocks in the house and you end up just chasing yeah. the other teams. Run out your rocks that way. It's a three. <laughs> it's a three. So the numbers they're yelling has to do with where they think the rock is going to be um, in the playing area. So a three is a guard. And um, Courtney was absolutely right. Looks like we have Hammer coming down on sheet A. Furious, furious sweeping going on. Right. We need Dave and Brian to move so we can see. <laughs> it's looking really good. Oh, but it comes up just a hair short. Oh. One yellow. Probably should have stayed on it a little closer Yeah. That was really close. So Chud Muffin score another. Oh, really nice. Excellent shot. It is exposed, so. Dave's final rock of the end. That was a really tough shot rock to get to, though. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Hammer here on C. And looks like they've got it. Uh oh. No. So that's a blank. Blank end. comes Dave's last rock here of the end. All right, we have an empty house, so. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna go get myself some tea, I'll be would have preferred to take at least two. He's trying to figure out how to make that happen. Now that would have to be a pretty precise shot to bounce that yellow in. And, and also the other one. And the, and the shooter. shooter, yeah. Looks like what they're trying to do, though. Yeah. So I just walk in there and my kids are All 
All righty, this is Hammer on uh, It's kind of hard to see. We've got the entire Slanger Danger team um, in front of us here, so. Oh, it's curling too much. All right. Well, we got their one. So Team Johnson is on the board. Well done, guys. It's always good for morale. Like, you gotta, you gotta catch it. like it was so out there. You're on the board. You gotta work your way back. I've seen plenty of teams do it. So they opened the door, so now it's I'm getting really cold. <laughs> That's a nice get around the guard on sheet C. Barely squeaked by. That was, shot. I like to call it, they got by it with a kitten's whisker. <laughs> Good news. The food is in the box. No, it was something that dripped and was like hot. Trying to do a run back on sheet C, and they hit it at just the angle that it squeaked by those yellows. So, Kuma Kuma on sheet C is going to just try to draw another one into the forefoot and uh, have the broomstones keep chasing them. Like that was a center line um, violation there, but it looks like the skips are okay with where those rocks ended up, so they're just going to leave them. Almost looks like it's still on the center line, which means it wouldn't be a violation. It's very close. Yeah, it is very yeah, close. It's like biting. <laughs> biting the center line. Yeah. Is that a thing, Sarah? <laughs> it is now. Yeah, it's it is now. now. <laughs> it just made it up. So it looks like Stephanie is gonna try to um, draw behind. Start getting some yellow in the house this time. Yeah, it's uh... Yeah, I think you just got a little uh -oh. outside the line. So looks like they might be... Well, they bumped it back on the center line for <laughs> sure now. So and their I, yellow is in the house, so. So there was some debate on the Discord about that. If a center line is displaced and then replaced on the center line, does that reactivate the center line? Oh. Or the no, tick, no tick rule. So it only matters. How it, came out. <laughs> it only matters where it starts and where it ends. If it goes off and comes back on, it's still a center line guard, which okay. means there's no violation. Thank you, John. Yeah. But then if, if they tick it now, it would it be a yeah. would it violate the tick? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So you can re regain your center guard, uh, mm -hmm. the no tick rule. And if it was off the center line to begin with and was pushed on, then that will mm. also still have it. Right. Okay. Yeah. Like Naomi bounced that uh, Team Johnson rock out of the house and and a clean house again. So Ken Clark is up. He is going to be throwing, hopefully around those guards. That's the plan. Nice 
nice guard on that shot. So, that is shot, yes. Yeah, it looks like Broomstones is sitting one on sheet C right now. Just guarded there still. Yeah. So Kuma Kuma's gonna try to do a hit and roll on the one they just threw. I can, yeah. I can probably, if I hit this, what's the call here? Dave's call is to get rid of the yellow guard. Yep. that Red Rock's biting. I hear Courtney still talking about the oven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I believe uh, Crisis averted there. Feels like they might have shut the door too, which is good. Well, I really just wanted to <laughs> We're having the opposite of a warm room in here right now. Yes. Fortunately, we crashed on guard there, but they did push theirs in. Not sure if that was the goal or if they were trying to draw it. I didn't see the call. by Courtney. Can you put up all those scores? Yeah. So real quick, quick score recap on sheet A, the Chud Muffins are ahead of Nashua by 5-0. On our feature sheet B, Flanker Danger is ahead four to one. On um, sheet C, the Broomstones are ahead two to one. And on sheet D, Swiss Margarita is ahead eight to zero on Body by Broomstacking. Just flashed by that. Just barely missed it. Johnsons were trying to do a hit and roll on that. Redstone. Let's get to it. So over here on sheet C, it looks like Broomstones is uh, putting up a wall of guards right now to try to protect their shot rock in the house. One of the um, players on sheet A does the, the lift delivery. Oh, I've never, uh, seen that live before. I'm, I'm playing on a team this um, this go around, and and the skip kind of just lifts it up the back just a little uh, bit. It doesn't completely come up. It always makes me a little nervous, but it works. So. Cody is uh, throwing for Team Johnson here. Ken and Stephanie are just with it. That's got plenty of weight. Is it going to slow down at 10? It's definitely T plus. Yeah. Plus. 
But it did just out count two of those reds, so. Yeah. A little bit exposed, not really quite, it curled, did not curl as much as they yeah. had hoped. Looks like the plan is uh, Dave's calling for that hit. We're just starting skip rocks here on uh, sheet B. Once again, Johnson's in the unfortunate position of having to chase these stones a bit. Rather than putting more in the house himself. I think the goal would be to roll and stick for point here. Got a little bit of a roll there on uh, yep. Steve Johnson's rock, so it's better than a direct nose hit. That came up light. Uh, no, 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 it's coming in, it's coming in. Oh. Wow. Team Kuma Kuma just took three in the fourth. Four in the fifth end. So they have pulled ahead of Team Broomstones. It's a five to two game here on Sheet C. Excellent end by Kuma. Yeah. Red was sitting shot for most of that end, well buried. And yeah. To pull that out. Getting ready to throw his first skip rock of this end. And trying to kick out that yellow stone. Oh, that's curling too much. Oh, I think it's oh. got it. I think it's got it. Naomi. Oh, yeah, just barely oh. took the side. Wow, that was a really strong sweep. That was really starting to curl there at the hog line. So Steve is going to try to put another one in. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the hammer this time. So. No. Good time. <laughs> Seems to work for them. So. Steve is getting ready to throw his uh, final skip rock. They do not have hammer this time, so he is uh, going to try to draw around and have Dave chase his rock. So I find this to be the hardest shot. Like, 
you just have to touch paint. It's like, I tend to overthink these shots. Yeah. You've got all the options in the world. So all Dave needs to do is touch paint and they'll be sitting four and they will uh, increase their lead here, so. Oh, nice sweeping by Courtney and Naomi. Slinger Danger goes up by eight to one against Team Johnson. See there, we moved some granite around, but it wasn't the uh, color that they were hoping for. First rock is uh, T line wing. Yeah, it's good that one of us thought it was light. I don't even think I got it completely in the house. Or maybe just barely. Just a hilarious. Maybe I'll be like walking next to you the whole time. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, we, we I told her I I she knew it was like that scene. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. Steve's looking for a corner guard, but that looks like it's No, it's gonna oh. stick. Yep. It might be a biter. Nope. Guard. Nice corner guard there. Right on the outside of the uh, twelve foot. <laughs> Looks like somebody needs to sweep for line. <laughs> That's coming from sheet A, trying to get a draw around those guards. They got it around, but uh, it was moving too fast to stick around. Sarah, we're up to 27 viewers. Welcome, everybody. Good morning. We have the C semi event finals going on now, along with the E event finals. And our feature here, feature sheet this is a C event final. Semi-final. Semi-final. Thank you. That one is curling a ton. Yeah. Not sure where they were hoping that one would go, but that is. Yeah. 
Dave seems determined not to let any yellow touch the paint. So go after that one. Calling for backline weight here. Needs to move some of these red rocks around. And another rock. Nice draw by Broomstone on C. Yeah, right. Uh, four foot. That's nice. Where is it? So we've got a cluster of red rocks here on our feature sheet. <laughs> liked how this shot has turned out the last two times, so he's going to do it again. Yeah. This is uh, Brian's first uh, of his two rocks. tricky with the uh, adjacent sheets, rock sitting so close to the edge. There. Yeah, Dave actually ended up burning that rock to keep it from sliding over onto sheet A, so that's why that rock came out. They're just trying to throw enough weight to get these rocks out, but still stick around. If they throw it too heavy, their shooter is going to displaced. <laughs> Dave is really loving the hit game this uh this end. <laughs> it's like there's a yellow rock, it must go away. shots there on C it did not quite do what they wanted. Yeah, that was a beautiful 
they managed to get that out without touching any of the red rocks. Remember on sheet A, um, Nasawa has uh, taken two in the fifth end. They are on the scoreboard. Well done, guys. the first of Dave Skip Rocks. Plan is to go ahead and get rid of the Team Johnson Yellow Rock that's sitting in the house. Well, that moves some granite around. <laughs> Score update on sheet D, Swiss Margarita. Took two in the fifth, they are now ahead 10-0. See Sarah. Oh. Might be over curling. Nope, he's got it. He's got it. Excellent shot. Well done. Buried behind the guard. Split the house. That was a nice break for the team. Team Johnson. Yeah. a little closer now. Broomstones took two in the sixth end, so they're only trailing by one now against Kuma Kuma. A very tight match on sheet C. Lots of sweeping here on sheet D.
comes Hammer in the sixth end here for Team Johnson. Looking pretty good. Yeah, weight's looking good. They're a little gentle sweeping there. It's not, not too furious. I think he's going well done, Team Johnson. Well done. So that is two for Team Johnson. So looks like we're doing uh, handshakes here. So yeah. So that'll be our final on sheet B. Team Schlanger Danger uh, defeated Team Johnson by a score of eight to three. Well done, both teams. So we're gonna go ahead and switch over to sheet C here. Three sweepers. And they are they, they employ that wonderful technique. draw shot. They employ that te technique quite a lot. It seems to work yeah. for them. So it looks like uh, Team Kumakuma is just going to follow them down and try to sit on that uh, red rock that's in the house. Gotta get past the guard. Oh my gosh. That was a really good shot. Oh, that was well done. Well done. It's like another uh, deja vu shot here. That guard. Looks like Team Kumakuma is uh, calling for a guard. They want to prevent that run back of the red guard into their yellow shot rock. Seems like a good plan.
Well, that one did not curl like they were expecting at all. Do the run back, do the run back. <laughs> First of the skip rocks for Broomstone. difficult way out on the side like that. The curl is very unpredictable. Just a guard. Don't over sweep it. <laughs> Looks like it's curling a lot. So I think the path line's still uh, not on that side. Yeah, I mean, that's what I would try to yeah, do is, yeah. is, is blast that red guard into the yellow and I guess see what happens. I'm <laughs> yeah. I'm quite fond of the I mean, see what happens. Uh, <laughs> well the angle would determine whether it just taps in to score yeah. or if it taps straight back to yeah to get out that yellow. I mean, I guess I could try to draw it along the other side, but I think that would be hard. It looks a lot farther away from on top. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, they're they're gonna throw it heavy. He's uh, indicating peel weight there. So. Oh, that looked good on sheet A. stuff. I'm not sure. It hit well, it, it, <laughs> it threaded the needle. I don't know what happened on the back end, but it got in between the, the rocks. Okay, here we go. I think that is oh! gorgeous. That is amazing shot. Wow. Let's see, if I had thrown that, that would not have <laughs> happened, but it would have been interesting. <laughs> that was like the perfect weight was, to hit that with. That was textbook. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 
I would try to do the same thing, but with the yellow rock. So this is Hammer on sheet C. All right, let's see what uh, they can do with their last rock here. Broomstones is sitting one. That was an excellent attempt. That was so close. The angle was just slightly off. So that is another. Red for broomstones. And we have a tie game going into the eighth. So this That's is exciting. Uh, very exciting. It looks like over on sheet A, we have a one point game. Another rather exciting game going on. Yeah. Sheet D, Swiss Margarita is uh, sort of running away with this one. A nice guard is the first rock over here on our new feature sheet, sheet C. sweeping away. They are pulling that as far as they can. I'm not sure what he thought they got, but I, they, they swept it for all they were worth. Yeah. Like Broomstone, um, they don't have hammer this end, so they're just going to try to clog up the front there. Came out a little wide. The weight looks pretty good. Oh, unfortunate flash on sheet A there. the needle there. They got it. They got it. Oh my gosh. Beautiful shot. shot. Just touching the forefoot there. Well done. It's like Broomstone is going to try to follow them down. Starting. It's starting. 
Oh, very close, very close. Trying to determine which side to go with the draw. Or whether to just block the path. Well, it's the last end. They only need one to win, so. I think the plan should be to just plug it up. Find a way to not let them in. Came up a little shorter oh. than I thought, I think. She, yeah. They were thinking it was top 12, but yeah. All right, looks like we've got a run back coming. So that's always the danger when you come in behind guards that aren't yours. Mm -hmm. Missed it by a tiny bit. Kind of set up to do it again. Oh, yeah. It's quite as good of an angle, but yeah. And for those of you that are streaming with us, we are showing sheet A um, along with uh, sheet C here. So. If you are interested in the Nashua and the Chub Muffins game, we do have that one. Nice guard there. Overcurled just a tad, yeah. but it's better than nothing. Kuma Kuma on our feature sheet here, sheet C, is uh, just trying to plug stuff up, get stuff in the way. So Broomstones is going to try another run back here. Back line waits. And uh, that was not what they intended on sheet uh, A there. Chud Muffins uh, wrecked into the uh, guards there. And They're sweeping very hard here. And it's just going to go to the other side. <laughs> just can't quite get the angle right on that one. Yeah. So it looks like Kuma Kuma is going to try to mess up Broomstone's plans there with all the run back. So. We have a rock that is going to hog. That's a Nassau just did not have enough weight on that rock to get it over the hog line. Still got the run out. back there. All right. Third time's the charm, right? <laughs> That's right. 
unfortunately crashed on the guard on that attempt on sheet A. Yeah, I'm not exactly, I think they were trying to promote that red rock into the house, but. Oh yeah, actually you're right. They it was there. a nice guard there, so I'm not exactly sure. They've opened it up now so that that red rock is completely exposed. the run back. We're trying from the other side this time. Okay. Maybe that'll give a little Looks like it's angle. got a little bit more weight on it this time, so that's probably helpful. And oh, they did it. Third time, definitely the charm. That's right. Well done. So now right. it looks like uh, Kuma Kuma is going to try the same thing, except with their yellow rock. Yeah. So the Chud Muffins here have an have an opportunity to take a direct line against that red rock of Nassau in the uh, house. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. They hit the wrong stone, and it worked out anyway. Look at that. <laughs> Sometimes that plan B, C, D, E. <laughs> X. Yeah. Those are usually my plans. It's like, oh, plan X worked out really great. <laughs> So, all right, looks like another run back. Sheet A. Oh, oh that was so close. So close. Barely squeaked past that guard and then yeah. just didn't quite take it enough. All right, here we go on sheet C. All tied up. It comes down to this end. Hard line call. Oh, it is timing. Uh oh. All right. That could have been worse. Yeah. What would you do at this point, Sarah, on sheet C? Would you try to block it up, or would you try to draw Lynn on the other side and get another one in and have him chase? Yeah, I don't know. It's a tough call. Sometimes it depends on what you feel comfortable with, too. Yeah. What shot you know you can make. Yeah, so it looks like they are. Um, do a draw. Yeah, they're pretty wide out there. I think it's a little too wide for a guard. Mm, nope, that, oh, they're yep. close guard. Very close guard is what they're going for. Got this is it. Hammer coming down on A. Attempting to take out the red. They've got it. Oh my gosh, Excellent beautiful shot. shot on A. Well done. Well done. That was a really wonderful game. Very close, very competitive. So that is uh, one of our E event finals. So. Now we are down to sheet C. Looks like sheet D is done. And um, body by broomstacking did manage to get three in the seventh end. Well done for them. This is Broomstone's final rock. They're trying to draw in. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, it's a little fast. It is. 
girl enough. Oh. That was a right, wonderful attempt. Wonderful attempt. So Kuma Kuma takes the eighth end. And um, final score of seven to five. Well done. So the final score on sheet C was six to five in favor of Kuma Kuma against Broomstone. So that is all the curling we have for the C event semifinals and the E event finals. We will be back with you at noon um, for the finals. So. Thanks for tuning in, everybody, and we'll see you back here in a little bit. See you soon. There's no power, so we want to get you. We couldn't do that. We had to get our money for it. Six games are lost. Right?